MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. A good one on tap for you this afternoon between the Milwaukee Brewers and the Philadelphia Phillies. In now is Lorenzo Cain. He will lead this one off today. And a full count to Kane. Three balls and two strikes. Really starting to pour now, and the forecast is not showing any signs of a break in the weather. Total agreement, Matt, in particular that pitcher's mound. You know, one of the things you have to really be careful, not just for the position players, but that mound gets awfully slippery and awfully wet when it becomes moist like it is right now. So the umpires are going to have to really pay attention to the conditions on the field. Into the box now, Brock Holt. Brewers shortstop ahead with a three and one count. Brock Holt now with a full count. When you get yourself to a three one count and you get a fastball, those are the ones you really want to punish. Couldn't get the bat on it, so we'll see if that comes back to haunt him. In there, a base hit. Into the box, Christian Yelich. High and deep to straightaway right. Harper looks up. Gone! In now, Keston Hiura. High in the air down the right field line. Harper on the run and he makes the catch in the corner. Digging in now for the Brewers Omar Narvaez hoping to stay hot. He had a couple of hits including a home run yesterday. Now the one and one pitch. Well I think he just kind of lost focus on the mound right there. It's clearly not going his way and he's thinking more about that than the task at hand and right now he needs to think about this hitter three and one to him now pulled toward right center field Williams is under it two down so here is Abisayo Garcia two hits and eight tries for the series here comes the pitch for Garcia Looked like he got fooled on the speed there. Two and two. And there's ball three on a breaking ball that misses away. Now the three and two pitch. Holds off on the slider, and that's a good idea as it's ball four. Next for Milwaukee, Eric Sogard, who takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. In the dirt. And it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. And he'll make it into scoring position here with two away as that'll be scored a wild pitch. Fastball and mm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. To me, it looks like he just doesn't trust himself out there on the mound. It's like he's fighting his body on every pitch, and as a result, we're seeing a lot of balls from him early on in this game. Liner towards second. That's in there. Base hit. Tack on another here as the runner scores from second. The first baseman, number 12, Justin. At the plate, Justin Smoke. And this pitch misses for ball four. So that's going to move a runner into scoring position now with two away. The pitcher, Eric Lauer. The 
the 1-1 home. He swung on and missed, and that's strike two. Hey, I know it's the pitcher at the plate, but he's going to grind it out right here. He's got a chance to help himself, and nothing's a bigger backbreaker to a team than watching the pitcher drive in the run. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. And that'll bring up Gene Segura. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Garcia on the run. Oh, and a great diving catch for the first down. So next to the plate for the Phils, Andrew McCutcheon. And he's looking to get it going. Off to a bit of a slow start this year. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. Your eyes light up from the offensive side playing in a hitter's park like this. Have to get the ball up to do some damage. I'm not mad at that take. Grounded weakly toward third. Over to Smoke at first, and there are two away. Next to dig in will be Bryce Harper. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Back goes Garcia to the track, but he can't get it as it's off the wall. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. Batting four. The first base day. Three. To the plate now, Reese Hoskins. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. High and deep down the left field line. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Now the three and two pitch. Fouled away. Another full count offering on its way. Hit softly down the line at first. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. The next 3 2. Misses ball four, so it's first and second now with two out. Standing in, JT Real Muto. He's two for seven in the series so far. Real Muto. A one two. As a pitcher right there, do not be surprised if he throws the same exact pitch. He was lucky to foul that one off. Two balls and two strikes to the Phillies catcher. hit hard to the right side and that is in the right field the base hit he'll come home with it ah, but this is well up the line and he's safe at home playing at the plate now Didi Gregorius and a slider just about gets away from him there as it runs in a bit too close for comfort Full count now, three and two. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Working for the punch out and the offering. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Still three balls and two strikes. The eighth pitch of the at-bat. Oh, and he hammers it to deep right field. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. So now to the plate, Nick Williams. And that misses two and one. Two balls, one strike. Not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. 
Okay. Maybe a little jumpy there as he swings through the fastball. Yanked on the ground down the line. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. And into hit next is Lorenzo Kane. He'll lead it off against Vince Velasquez. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's 2 and 1. He might still be thrown off from that first inning, guys. He got knocked around pretty good, and that can be hard to recover from mentally sometimes. Three and one to him now. Is swung on and driven out to right center field. A ball that's well hit. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. And the Brewers get him in into scoring position on the leadoff double. Now batter, the quick foul. Rock. Hold. Into the box now. Brock Holt back up the middle. Segura has it. Throw on to first, and one shortstop grounds out to the other, one away. So a definite RBI spot here. Runner at third, one away. And that'll bring up Christian Yelich. Well, Matt, this is one of the problems. This guy's a good fastball, particularly low fastball hitter. It doesn't. Uh, just a sec now as that ball finds its way into the outfield, a base hit. And the runner from third crosses the plate. Now that second base. Justin Hura. Stepping in now, Keston Hura. Strike taken to throw. He's in there easily as the throw bounces on the way down. The one-two is laid off for ball two. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. Digging in, Omar Narvaez, runner in scoring position with Sukhan. And a little self-preservation down at first as he pulls that one in to end the inning. Digging in now for Philadelphia, Scott Kingery. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. A 1 1. And here's a slider. Strike three called, and that'll be the first out of the inning. Next up will be the Phillies pitcher, Vince Velasquez, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Up high, two and one now. One out, nobody on. Line drive to center field, and the pitcher's got himself a base hit. So the lineup car turns over with one away following the base hit out of the pitcher's spot. The batter. Into the box, Gene Segura. Into the corner and slicing foul. He's going to be thinking about that pitch all night if he doesn't have a big game right here. Pulled his front shoulder and everything went with it. Line drive, base hit. At the plate, Andrew McCutcheon. And he's a little too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind his count with guys on base. A 3 1 count to the Phillies' left fielder. Now he gets the ground ball to first. This might be two. On to smoke in time for an inning ending double play. Striding in, Avisail Garcia. No official at bat for him, but he has scored a run in this one. And he'll come 
back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. Now a ball lined to the left side. But this is a foul ball. Rounded down the third baseline. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. So the base the is empty base. here with one away. And that will bring in utility man extraordinaire Eric Sogard. Into the windup, here's the 2 and one pitch. Outside, that's the ball. Now a ball hit hard toward first. Heck gets down. He's got himself a base hit. And this one bounds around against the wall. The first base is number 12. Justin Smoke. Standing in now, Justin Smoke. Fastball laid off well below the knees. It's fouled away. A swing and a miss for route number two, and a ball he had no chance of making contact with. The pitcher. So two away in the Brewers half of wow. the third. And that'll bring up the pitcher, Eric Lauer. One and one. Here it is. Donnie couldn't pull that one back as he clearly broke the plane of the plate, and that'll be ruled a strike. Line toward the gap in left center. And he won't get it as that's down for a base hit. Oh, but it's offline, so the run will score. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. So now to the plate, Bryce Harper. They haven't played perfectly as it's hit on the ground. Reined in. And there's one away. So one gone here in the Philadelphia third. And that'll bring up Reese Hoskins. The 3-1. It is swung on and missed. And that's a full count now. Three balls and two strikes. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Kane going back. And this one scoots all the way to the wall. And he is in at second base with a one-out double. Plate now, JT Real Muto. And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. Now a fastball awfully close, but he doesn't get the call. It's two and two now. And this one's in the dirt, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. The three two pitch and this misses for ball four. The second walk he surrendered here in the first three innings. So now to the plate, Didi Gregorius. He hit a big three run bomb in his first plate appearance. Now a hard liner toward short, and that's in there. Base hit. And they'll hold that runner at third as everybody moves up a base, and they're loaded with one away. At the plate now, Nick Williams. Taken, but called for strike two on the outer part of the zone. Two balls, two strikes to Nick Williams. You know, I think he's having a hard time with that curveball right now, and that's part of the reason why he struggled early on in the start. It's so important to have command of those secondary pitches, or hitters just start sitting on the hard stuff. Catch is made here in right, and here comes the runner from third. And he will score on a close play at the plate, and that'll make it a little more interesting now. It's six to five. Into the box now, Scott Kingery, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. No offer on that one, two balls and a strike. His pitch count is getting up there in the inning now. 
he needs to get this frame over with sooner than later. So forcing contact and getting the defense involved is probably the best thing he can do. And he misses with it for ball four. So the bases will be loaded now with two away. Davey Grion called on as a pinch hitter here in a big, big spot. He'll have the bases loaded with two out in the inning. A little behind on that swing, and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. And here's a ball lifted back toward the stands in right, so we'll try it again at one and two. Here's the one and two. Now a flare out to left center. Garcia coming on. He can't get there as it falls in. One run scores. And he is in there. Brent Suter is going to come on to pitch here. And in just the third inning, you have to think he'll be asked to eat some innings. Stepping in now, Gene Segura. Lying toward the gap in left center. That's in there. Base hit. And the run is in to score from second. It's now an 8-6 game. The batter, the left fielder, Andrew Marquez. Into the box, Andrew McCutcheon. Too high there and maybe a bit outside as well. Two and one. A little early and now it's even at two and two. Two and two. Here it is. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3-2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing up. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. Robert Stock, the six foot one inch right-hander, will be the one to get the call from the bullpen here. Robert. All set for the start of the inning. Now back to the top of the Milwaukee order, digging in Lorenzo Kane. Two hits in two trips for him thus far. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Throw to first in time, one gone here in the fourth. Here's Brock Holt now. One for two on his line so far in the game. One one. Yeah. Lifted the other way out to left center. McCutcheon is after it. He can't get to it. This one's down. Now back. Right fielder. Christian Yellich. In now, Christian Yellich. Hit out towards second. That's through a base hit, and he's got his third hit of the game. And now he has some trouble with it in center. Now back the second base hit. at the plate. Keston Hiura. Curveball right on the black, taken for a strike. Hey, that's a great job by the pitcher right there. Stealing a strike with that get me over breaking ball. And now he can get in the dirt and block behind the plate. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. Here now the 2 2. Grounded up the first baseline. Hoskins has it. And he'll step on first himself for the out. the plate Omar Narvaez hit the ball pretty well in his last at bat but it resulted in a line out yeah pretty unlucky right there Matty squared up a fastball nicely and that's all you can do you just want to be on time for the heat bullet to second base a fine play and that ends the inning here's Bryce Harper now one for two including a double back in the first 
one of the keys to securing a win. They want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Well hit, but right into the teeth of the ship. Into the box now, Reese Hoskins. Hit well towards the hole. That's through for a base hit, his second of the ball game. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Now batting, Hector. Real Muto. Standing in now, JT Real Muto. Change up, called a strike, and he comes back even at two and two. Hit back up the middle. And that's through into center field, base hit. And the runner from second is in to score. Now batting, the second baseman, Didi Gregorius. So now to the plate, Didi Gregorius. He pulls this one into right, but this is right at him in right field as he hardly has to move to take it in for the first down. So first and third with one away. And digging in at the plate, the Texas native Nick Williams. Now the 2 1 pitch is a fastball that misses. You know, I kind of see why his ERA is so high coming into this one. He's just putting these guys in too many good hitters' counts. That'll catch up with you real quick. Ripped on the ground to first. Hope for one. Relay to first in time, and just like that, this side is retired. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. Into the box now, Avisail Garcia. He was a ground out victim last time up. Here comes the pitch for Garcia. Hit hard on the ground to third. A dive, and he knocks it down. And a good try to recover that time, but he'll beat it out as he's aboard to kick off the inning. Number seven, Eric Sogard. To the plate now, Eric Sogard. Now a ball fouled down the right field line out of play, so that'll move the count to two and two now. He's ready. Now the pitch. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Here's Justin Smoke now. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Justin Smoke. That's lifted the other way out to left. McCutcheon is under it. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Now to the plate, the pitcher, Brent Suter. First at bat of the game for him here in the fifth as he was a late entrant into this one. The 1-1 one -one home. Is put in play to the right side of the infield. Again, a one two. And a half hearted swing there as they tie him up inside for the third strike, and the inning is over. Into the box, Scott Kingery in his career against this pitcher. He's two for four. Fouled off. Hard hit ball to second. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. Now this rolls all the way to the wall. And the Phillies are able to get things started with a leadoff double. Josh Harrison will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number seven. And a liner foul into the seats down the right side. 
Kingery leads off second with nobody out. Ani pops it up, drifting just beyond the infield. And therefore, it is Hura for the first out of the inning. Striding in, Gene Segura is looking for hit number three here in this at bat. Hoping to send him packing, pitch on its way. Oh, and a good curveball that time as it's taken for a called strike three, and there are two away. So a runner in scoring position with two men gone, and that'll bring up the former National League MVP, Andrew McCutcheon. But a good play by the first baseman to spear this one, and that'll retire the side. Adam Morgan takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Now pitching for the Phillies. Number 46. Top half of the sixth about to get started. Stepping up to the plate, Lorenzo Kane. So far, two for three in this one. One one home is swung on and missed for strike number two. Morgan is adjusting to the new normal as MLB now mandates that relievers reach the end of an inning or face three or more batters before being replaced. For a one time lefty specialist like this that's a big change and an off balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. Now at the plate Brock Holt he singled his last time up. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. Hey, that's a nice take by the batter right there, but that's a non-competitive off-speed pitch. Got to do better to at least entice a swing. Chop toward the second baseman. He's got it. And he'll whip this one over to first, and he gets his man for the second out. At the plate, Christian Yelich trying to keep it going. A perfect three for three thus far. Maybe too much break on the slider. Two and one. Sitting in a good spot right here. Two ball, one strike count is yet to see a fastball. Have to be sitting on one right here. Swing and a miss. Two and two now. Gotta love a reliever that comes in firing bullets. And his fastball is a good one. And a slider swung on and missed. And the side is retired. J.P. Fireisen enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 76, J.P. Digging in now, Bryce Harper, two for three with a double on his line so far. Weak grounder down the line at third. In tight with the slider, two and two. Boy, that's one of the toughest pitches to lay off a hard breaking ball at the back foot. Tough take on a terrific pitch. The swing, and this ball is blasted to right field. Nothing's going to keep this one in the ballpark. And it's gone as they add still another. Into the box, Reese Hoskins. Bounce towards the second baseman. Throw on to first, so a good comeback there as he gets the first out of the inning. One out for the Phils in their half of the sixth, and that brings up JT Real Muto. The one two is looked at for ball number two. Bases are empty, one man out. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. Didi Gregorius will be next. He's set. Here's the three and two. High in the air into shallow left center. Garcia has a read on it, and he makes the catch for the second out. Here's Didi Gregorius. The second baseman. Didi. 
Now the one and one pitch. A dive, but it's off his glove. The one two. Swing and he pops him up. Sogar into shallow left. He can't get there, so the inning will continue. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. At the plate, Keston Hiura on the ground to the left side. And that's through into left, so a leadoff single here to start the seventh. The back, the catcher, Omar Narvaez. In now, Omar Narvaez. Fastball called strike, one and two. Got to believe the pitcher's going to trust his defense right here. Look for something down in his zone to induce a ground ball double play. The count is two and two to the Brewers catcher. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Riding in once again, Avisail Garcia. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Here now the 2-2. Gets him looking at the knees for the strikeout. Here's Eric Sogard. Six runs, double the amount of hits, and no errors on the Milwaukee line score so far. Fastball, and hmm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's 3-1. and one. Justin Smoke would be next. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Harper has a read on it. And that ends the inning. Ladies and gentlemen, we join for the traditional seven-day stretch. Last half of the seventh here, digging in once again, Nick Williams. He's 0 for 2 with a sacrifice to this point. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. Nope, that's a ball. Good job to work the count and put himself back in the driver's seat. Started off with one strike, and now he's got the count in his favor, three and one. Fastball in there, three and two. Two strikes. And there's a line drive. Base hit to left field. And this one bounds around against the wall. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. The third baseman, number four, Scott Kingery. Stepping in now, Scott Kingery. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Fly ball out toward left center field. Garcia giving chase. And a great diving effort there, but it'll just tip off his glove, and it's a base hit. Garcia gets it back in, and that'll hold the runner at third base. Alex Claudio is in out of the bullpen now, as he'll be inserted into the number six spot following the double switch. Ben Gamble will also come on now, as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. This game defensively for the Brewers. Now playing lefty. Number 16. Ben this is foul right side. The one two he is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Gene Segura standing in. It's been a two for four effort for him so far in the ballgame. Now the one and one pitch. Well, I love the way he's competing out there on the mound right now. He's got a chance to rack back to back K's with two runners in scoring position. He's not giving in at all. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Scooped up. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. 
Here's Andrew McCutcheon now. He'll try to bring in that second run of the inning from third with two down. Here's the one and one pitch. Three and one. Bryce Harper would be next. Lifted in the air out towards left center. After it is Kane. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Jose Alvarez has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 52. Leading off the inning, Justin Smoke, and they'll need him to get something going here. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. And that'll bring up Ben Gamble. And he's getting his first plate appearance here in the eighth after entering off the bench just a little bit ago. Counting out a two balls and a strike to Ben Gamble. Six runs, double the amount of hits, and no errors on the Milwaukee line score so far. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Liner towards second. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. The center fielder, number two. Lorenzo. At the plate now, Lorenzo Kane. One and two now. Line toward the alley in left center. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Now that the shortstop. To the plate now, Brock Holt. Now a ball lined toward the alley in left center. And he'll lay out to make a spectacular catch. Wow. So two gone now in the Brewers now half of the eighth. Right. And up next, the sweet swing and left-handed hitting outfielder Christian Yelich. Lifted out towards straightaway center field. Williams is under it. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Corbin Burns is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 39. Corbin. And Bryce Harper will dig in at the plate. He's coming off a solo homer in his previous trip. Yeah, that last at bat, Daddy, he turned that fastball around. He didn't hit it a ton. He didn't hit it a country mile, but hey, listen, a home run is a home run. Oh, and here's a drive. Well hit out to straightaway center. Into the shrubbery and gone. Into the box now, Reese Hoskins. Read this one almost in the books. The story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, d -Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. Hira ranging into the outfield, and he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. Ready once again, JT Realmuto. He flew out in his last at bat. High in the air out to center field. Kane is under it. He's got it, and there are two down now. Now at the plate, Didi Gregorius. He launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. 3-2 pitch. And right into the shift. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. 3-2. and two. Another full count pitch on its way. Hit in the air down the right field line. 
But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Payoff pitch one more time. Rip down the first baseline. And a diving effort, but it's out of his reach. A foul ball. D.D. swings and belts a ball to right field. This is carrying well, but that'll stay in the park as it's off the wall. And he'll pull into second with his fourth hit of the ball game. Now back, center fielder, Nick Williams. So now to the plate, Nick Williams. Lifted into the air to shallow center. Coming in on it is Kane. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Striding forward now, the Brewers' cleanup hitter, Keston Hiera. Last time through was a base hit. Fastball called, strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. So digging in now, Omar Narvaez. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. A bouncer up the middle. Segura to his left. He's there. Throw to first will take care of him, and the Brewers are now down to their final out. Ryan Braun will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. Two balls and a strike to Braun. And he fouls this one off. Now what's left of this crowd this afternoon gets to their feet. Now a line drive here is caught. And if that's not symptomatic of the way this one's gone, the ball game is over. It's always nice to give your fans at home something to cheer about. And they definitely did that right here. Coming through with a big win at home. 12 to 6, the final tally here. The Phils led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Robert Stock gets the win in relief, his second of the year. Eric Lauer is slapped with eight earned runs as he takes the loss. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Time at the ball game. Three hours and 56 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.